Hi, I'm Joe Kuttner, the author of Deploying JRuby 9000. I'd like to show you how to use some common JVM tools that can help you investigate memory leaks and manage an active JRuby runtime. I have a sample application here, which you can see is fairly simple. I have a gem file where I've defined JRuby as my Ruby runtime, and I've included a few gems. In my main Ruby file, I start Sinatra, and I have a single route, and I'll add a couple of lines of code to this, which create a memory leak. Don't do this at home, this is just for demonstration purposes. Back at the console, I'll start by running bundle install with the bin stubs option. Uh, I use bin stubs because uh, bundle exec actually creates a second process which increases my startup time. So by running bin scripts, I can save a few seconds. So I'll start the Puma server, and then from another console, I'll run a curl command to make sure that it's running. Now I can open JVisual VM, which comes with the Java JDK. You don't have to install it. It's probably already there. Uh, in this GUI, you'll see that there is a JRuby application process running, which the tool has detected. When I click it, I can get some details about the process. Uh, these graphs provide information on memory and CPU, which I discuss in the book. I can also view thread usage and get some other information. I'll create another terminal session and put that curl command into an infinite loop. This will continuously exercise that route with the memory leak, which will start to fill up my JVM heap. From JVisual VM, I can start a sampler, which will periodically inspect the JVM heap and tell me what objects are taking up my memory. As you can see here, I have a large number of integer arrays, big ints, and big nums. These are the objects that back the random numbers which I was creating in my memory leak. So we can very easily here identify what is the source of my problem. Before I show you the next tool, I'll restart my server. This time I'll start it with the dash dash manage option. This will enable some features in JRuby called JMX, which provides some management interfaces to the runtime. When the server has started, I'll run the jconsole command, which will open jconsole, another GUI tool provided with the JDK. Again, I'll see my JRuby process listed, which I can connect to. And when I do, I'll see some graphs that are similar to what we saw in Visual VM for memory, threads, uh, lists of classes in memory, a VM summary, and mBeans, which are unique to JConsole. Among the mBeans, you'll see a classification for JRuby. And in this, you'll see the instance of the JRuby runtime. The runtime mBean has a number of operations associated with it, which can be used to manage or inspect the JRuby runtime. One of these is execute Ruby, which allows you to execute arbitrary Ruby code within the JRuby VM. To demonstrate this, I'll use a puts command with a string jconsole. And when I execute this operation, you'll see that jconsole is admitted to the terminal session. This is a simple example, but mBeans can be used to perform important management actions in a production system. They can also be invoked programmatically with the JMX gem. In deploying with JRuby 9000, you'll learn more about these tools and other powerful JRuby features.